Good morning, everybody. Well, it's morning here, anyways. So, uh, well, we're headed uptown. We're gonna go over to this gentleman's place and look at a. What are we looking at, Tom? I kind of forgot right now. <laughs> Outfits. Uh, it's a decelerator pedal for a dozer. The guy wants one built. But got the plate cut. We went out and measured where the, where the pedal's got to come through the plate. And get the dimensions of the pedal, what it needs to be. So we're going to go ahead and bring you guys along with us for the ride. And... And who knows, you never know what we might see too. Oh. Let's see if we can pull in that shot of that really nice, beautiful snow covered mountain in the background. It's actually really gorgeous and real. It would be kind of nice if we could have you guys riding right along with us. Today is just a really beautiful day out here. The sun is out just a little bit, the nice clouds in the sky. That cabin sat down there in the hole. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? I don't know if the audience can see it all the way down there, however, it is really a gorgeous place. It's just sitting right there above what is called the Smelkameen River. And there's actually a train trussle right there and it, they've turned it into a walkway, a walking path, so that you can go for a stroll and enjoy the scenery and everything. There's actually people down there on it right now, but it's too far away to show you guys. Yeah, and that trail it just happens to be called the Smelkameen Trail. This here is our local golf course here in Orville. So what exactly are you doing here, Tom? This has got to poke up through the floor. This is the decelerator. You push this down and it activates this right here and pushes it down. The throttle's all the way off right now. And that's on. You push it down and it's your decelerator. 
So when you get in a tight spot, you can take the throttle off of it. And so you can work a little easier and not be so dangerous. But whoever they got this from did not have this plate, did not have the pedal. So I'm making the plate and a pedal assembly for him. It's going to be comfortable so it'll grow one way or the other. But I know it sits up just like a handle almost, and it's just two. One. Isn't that part of the area where burnt last year? Yeah. Several thousand acres burned up here. So I'm just marking this up right now for the H plate for the for the shifter pattern on the dozer. It's not it didn't have one on it, so they asked me to build one, so that's what I'm doing. You making us some money over there, Michael? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know how it goes. I do, bro. Hurrah! All right, so yeah, Michael's working on this project that we got. Uh, Tom is still working on the way to report these guys to that text line. I'm trying to get this next video edited out. Uh, things are good, guys. Life is good. Life is what we make it. You know, there's always going to be problems, setbacks, difficulties. People that see people trying to do right and good, and they're going to get into it. The main thing is to not let them drag us into their level to keep cool heads and to do the next right thing. You know, I th I'm filming this with Tom's uh, tin. You might notice my eye line is way out because I cannot get used to, I love the GoPro 10, don't get me wrong. I can't get used to this this framing camera. It's like, how's my hair? That's, <laughs> all right, we better let Michael get back to work over there. He's waiting to grind until I'm done talking. No worries, <laughs> no worry, no worry. It's, it's all good. Hoorah, Michael. And yeah, you know, you just gotta remember that the best, the best revenge is success. So we can just let everybody settle and then we just rise above. That's all we can do, just let, them, let the stuff lie down, you know. Hoorah. I'm setting up for a, a plate to put on the floorboard of a of an old dozer. This gentleman come in to me. It didn't have the decelerator pedal and it didn't have the plate. So I found some scrap around here and was able to cut the new plate out. And of course, I cut the hole right here to put the decelerator rod through. And I'm getting ready to build the section here. For the footrest, and of 
course, this is, I'm gonna make the decelerator, decelerator pedal out of this. So it's on a machine that's from, I don't know, from the 1960s. So we can't, we can't even buy the right part anymore. So, and it was a little different style. It was a hand brake or hand decelerator instead of a foot decelerator. So I'm gonna convert it into a, a foot decelerator and hopefully this goes well. And I'm just disassembling this piece here that we're going to use. Hopefully the whole thing slides in a minute. I gotta, I've got to get this over to here. That way I have something to weld to. There, I got that over. So I need a screwdriver. You're so pretty. Yes. It's so cool. She thinks that she's like 500 pounds. Whenever anything is going on, she is on it. Yeah, she's all over it all the time. Can't tell. I don't see a keeper there, do you? No, I don't see a keeper. No, right there. Uh, yep, yep, it's just buried under there. Okay. You got a keyway, so I got to drive that out. Okay. Then take the keyway out. Then I can slide it over because it doesn't matter on this. The whole thing can rotate on that piece. So I'm redesigning. This used to turn, have a key on here and it turned what was over here, but I don't need that anymore. So I got a vision in my head. I tried to explain it. It's kind of hard to explain some things, so I just end up showing it. I love that. I find that's also a great metaphor for life. You know, so many people say things, but then never do them and other people do them and never say them. And that just shows so much better. Yep, so now I'm just gonna square that up. All right. I'll tack it. All right. I'll tack the other one. And I'll, I'll stand it up, tack it in place. Then I'm gonna set it on the floor. And I know about where the seat is on the machine and I'll, I'll, I'll set on it and make sure it feels right. Okay. Before I continue. Okay, totally cool. Now I'm gonna go to the gym here in a minute. I'm just gonna help you out with this here. I gotta go lift some weights, guys. So I'm excited. Lift some for me. Yeah, I, 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 I got you, Tom. Well, you lift enough around here, bro. I mean, I get plenty of exercise. Yeah. I just don't eat much. Um, I know, I've been watching your diet, bro. That's, Tom, Tom's got, uh, he just got out of surgery not long ago. You know, he's trying to get stuff back on track, really. And I've been able to watch, you're very inspiring. That's, that's the reason I'm trying to do better too, Tom. You COVID, know? COVID almost killed me twice, so. Dude. So after the COVID, when I blew up and I just, the steroids and all the crap they put yeah. me on, I, not to struggle to get it off, so. Yeah. I'm working on it. I got you. I, I tell you, I can see it. I can see you're losing it in your face first, bro. Yeah, I lost a lot of things in my face yesterday. <laughs> That's another story. Oh, yeah. Here we <laughs> go, guys. Oh, I kind of need one of these, don't I? All right, guys, we're trying to see if we can get you your own welding helmet right now. Hang on. Where's one of those Scott paper towels? No, why didn't you set it on the DeWalt box? Oh, I don't, well, it's a higher eye line. Oh, so while I'm doing something like close up like this, what I want to do is keep the camera at the same eye line as what I'm using, basically. So if we move, I'll go to the DeWalt box facing you this way. I like to shoot off of whatever I have present. Yeah. What's really neat about this, guys, is that Tom is teaching me how weld. He's teaching me mechanic stuff and everything. And in return, I'm teaching him about like camera stuff and all. It's, it's what do they call that? It's, it starts with an S. Synergy, synergy. It's when we one thing feeds the next or something. I think All right. with the seat, it? Does it? Well, you know better than I do. But, but the Scott box is it's the right height. One more time. The Scott box is the right height. Yeah, yeah, for, for this for sure. Yeah. Okay, guys, we got your helmet, my helmet. Here we go. Let's see if this works. So we're just doing some tap.
Move my hand in the way. Just give it three little tacks and now I can take it off for it pretty easy. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to their helmets, y'all's helmet is not going to work. I feel all Darth Vader in this thing while I'm talking to you. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to try and keep y'all at the right distance so that you don't wind up with sparks on, on Tom's lens. Okay, here we go, guys. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Always when you're in a bind or you're in a hurry or whatever, it say it pushed it off a little bit. I see. I can straighten it. Okay. Weld it up. See? Yep, yep, oh I see. I use some safety glasses here for y'all guys instead. Just protecting that lens. Alright, you're good. <laughs> nice totally cool Tom I'm tired of that falling on the yeah floor. I want to show him that and then I might head up to the gym before I start losing light yeah this is gonna be a couple day project how, how many days you fear till we get this on the on the machine oh I, I'm gonna try to get out there tomorrow oh cool I, I'll have to go out and fit it and then I'll probably have to come back and read this is the holes are a guesstimation I measured ah. and then I measured and I measured okay and I put it to where the measurement was, but you know how that is. Uh, I do, I do. So, and okay. all, all this this cut affects it. This cut affects it. Okay. So it might be off that much. So, but like an eighth of an inch. And I'll just take my. I got a step bit. Okay. I'll take with me. Nice. Okay. Which that'll just punch the hole where you need it, right? Oh, these, I love these bits. Let's go look at this, guys. It's called a step. Bit. Oh yeah, yeah. So. If this hole's not, if it's not exactly right, you can go with the next size bigger. And most of the time, your your bolt will cover that hole. Ah. It gives you a little playroom. Instead of fighting it, you can just make it a little bigger. Yes, okay, that makes total sense. All right, cool. Well, y'all guys have fun here with Tom. I'm gonna run up to the gym and I uh, will kick this back off again here a little bit later. Hoorah. So what I've done here, I took a 1132-bit, or excuse me, 1164 bit and drilled a hole. And now I'm tapping it with a 3 8 fine, which is the th same thread as a grease fitting. So when I get this tapped out, then it'll be ready to install the, the uh, pin back in it and then I can weld it back up on this piece once I get everything squared away. So that ought to be plenty of thread. So it's that easy. We just we took a a shaft that was fixed in place in this this pedal. Then made it to where it moves. Put a grease fitting in it so you can grease it and keep it moving. So I went over to the cutoff wheel while I was going. My uh, my battery died on me, so you missed part of it. But what I done, I cut this this long paddle down to this and put it together here. So where it goes. Yeah. Just like, like this right here on this plate. I 
pedal goes on here. So I'm gonna end up drilling a hole here for the the rod that runs to the decelerator system on the on the dozer. So I'm gonna pull this back out, lay it down, pack it together. I'm gonna tack all this together and then we'll take it out there tomorrow and double check and make sure it fits. Sometimes I have a bad habit of welding things solid and then you gotta come back and cut it apart and it's a real pain. So we're just gonna tack it together tonight and then we'll be able to go out tomorrow and check it out. I'm gonna wait, I'm not gonna weld this up, I'm not gonna tack this on because I need to know where this placement is for this rod that comes out. Make sure it fits right on the foot. It's looking good, Tom. Yeah, we're still getting there. I can get this set in place. Yeah, then. it's just somewhere I help you. Hang on, I got this video process going. If you need me to hold something. Well, I'll take now I've got my mask, but I close my eyes. Don't got my mask. I don't have my mask. It's nighttime, it'll still burn you. Okay. Oh, really? Even yeah. with my eyes closed? Yeah, it'll burn your face. Whoa! Light reflects in the dark. Okay, okay, now I'll let you do this. So now it's tacked up, mocked up. I think it's going to be about that position right there, but we won't know for sure. This is what it's going to look like. So I'm thinking right in this area, right in here, and we'll be drilling a hole for that rod. So that'll, that'll put this placement, which we'll show that later. See what you got going on, Tom. Yeah. I love the way you just pull that out of your head and you make it so. Yeah. Here's another piece of something we pulled off a machine and repurposed, right? That's uh -huh. what we do. Hopefully the client likes it as much as I do right now. I'm sure he will. You're not. What are you doing? Uh huh? You want some Dr. Pepper? You want some Dr. Pepper? This is one of my baby girl's favorite drinks. So we're not advertising this just for Matt. It's for Nikki. Peanut. Okay, that's enough for now. She's my baby girl. See if the other placement is gonna be right. Look 
course that's got to go down. I got to do a little bit of adjusting to get that in. gonna be perfect all right stay tuned we'll get her set up this is for some reason this is one of peanuts favorite places to ride when we're driving oh it's because of the warmth of the heater or what but she loves being up there So now we got our measurements. Um, I know all the adjustments that I need to make. I've got to trim this out right here still a little bit. But I know where all this needs to go and I can weld up and be done with this section. So let me get started. So as you saw there, I tacked four corners to keep it from drawing real hard. So I've got this where I need it. I had a little angle that I had to deal with on the on a twist and a, and a and a tilt. So I got that in place. Now I know everything else is ready, so I can finish welding everything up. Normally, this is you're supposed to preheat the water. But if there's no structure on this, all this is going to be metal. So, but it includes this for right now. Actually, it does not. I don't know if you saw it on the machine. Two, the steer handles, the brakes are right here. So, that's why it's going to be clamped on the machine. That's why I've done it on an angle. So, I'll let it go quick. So this is now in place, so what's gonna happen? There's a rod that's gonna connect to that hole right there. Then, which is connected to the acceleration rods. You put that on, it goes to the handle. So when this pushes down, it pushes that rod down. It's like just opposite of what your heart is. So it will decelerate the machine where you slow, and you get yourself out of the situation. So you can see right here where I added the grease fitting. So when this cools, I'll grease this. That way it'll be stuck. You get wetter in your outside, it'll rust up and stuff. So I'll put grease in it, it can't rust. Normally this, this pin's bigger than a half inch. Solid steel. Normally you're, you're supposed to preheat to 400. So it being that there's no structure on this, all this is doing is holding the pedal. I didn't bring it. It'll it, it be fine. It will not break. So that concludes this for right now. Actually, it does not. 
I have to put this on. I don't know if you saw out there on the machine, those two, the steer handles, the brakes are right here. So the pedal actually needs to be behind it, but I'm going to cheat it a little. That's why I welded that on at an angle. So I'm going to weld this up real quick. It's not in place, so it's gonna happen. There's a rod that's gonna connect to that hole right there. And which is connected to the acceleration rods. Put that, put the handle. Don't just push it down, push that rod down. It's like just opposite of what your car does. So we will decelerate the machine where you slow, you need to start the situation. So you can see right here where I had the restraining. So when this cools, I'll reset. So when it's stuck, you get wet when you're outside, you'll rust up and get stuck. So I'll reset it, it can't rust. So this is now in place. So what's going to happen? There's a rod that's going to connect to that hole right there, in which is is connected to the acceleration rods, the foot pedal. It goes to the handle. So when this pushes down, it pushes that rod down, and it, it's like just the opposite of what your car does. So it will decelerate the machine to where you can slow and get yourself out of a dangerous situation. So you can see right there where I added the, the grease fitting. So, so when this cools, I'll grease this. That way it don't get stuck. You know, you get weather in there outside, it'll rust up and get stuck. So if I put grease in it, it can't rust. So now I've got all this put together. Um, I, did, I forgot to turn the camera on a little bit, but I took the, my dwell grinder and rounded all these edges right here. So when the guy with, gets in with his rubber boots, he don't tear his rubber boots. And now we're gonna see if the grease fitting works. Use my little, I love, I love this grease gun. I found this attachment here for it online and it's the best thing that I've ever found. You pull it back and you turn it sideways, you can get in at an angle. I, I just love this thing. And it gives you an extension where you can stay away from, you don't have to get right up in what you're doing either. So like that, I got grease coming. I'll put a little extra in it. Just like that. Hopefully this guy likes this. I, I, it turned out better than what I envisioned. envisioned. So, I appreciate y'all watching. So what I got here is the, uh, the other plate that was on the floor of that dozer. I'm going to turn the pump on here. You might not be able to hear me, but I'm going to use this press. Let's see if I can press these dents out of it, put it back flat. I know it's not completely flat, but it needs a little bit of bend in it before it goes. And it's way better than it was. 
So uh, Mike and I are getting ready to head out, go to install the floor plate right here. And we've also got tools together that we're going to need for the job. The DeWalt drill, um, DeWalt light, DeWalt grinder. Um, so we're going to be headed out there shortly and be putting it back together. So we just finished up over here, another job, another satisfied customer. <laughs> 